Hi, my name is Mark Cruz of Nikon Canada, and today I'm excited to show you the new Nikon D810. This camera has a lot of improvements, but let's start by looking at the exterior controls. You'll notice that the grip has a confident feel in your hand, accented by new grip material adhered to the memory card door. A new dedicated eye button gives you immediate access to commonly used items, both in regular stills mode, as well as in live view settings. The side of the camera now has new dedicated doors for HDMI, USB 3, as well as headphone and microphone inputs. This provides better weather sealing to the ports that aren't being used versus the previous design of one single door. The metering switch has now been moved to the top of the camera where the BKT button used to be. The bracketing option is still on the camera but has been moved to the side of the camera above the flash button. For a quick and intuitive access to the focus switch, a texture refinement to the AF on button now makes it easier to find the button while keeping your focus through the newly redesigned optical viewfinder. The DA10 now has a brighter glass prism optical viewfinder for more accurate color and a brighter organic EL information display panel which contributes to the camera's exceptional visibility and low power consumption. The DA10 now has a noticeably quieter shutter. As well, a new electronic front curtain shutter mechanism delivers minimum shutter release vibration which is essential for uses like astrophotography. Now let's talk about what's under the hood of the DA10. Even though it has a very similar 36.3 megapixel resolution to the D800, the image sensor has been completely redesigned. This has helped expand the native ISO range down to 64 and all the way up to 12,800 ISO. The camera also has a low one equivalent of 32 ISO, a first for a Nikon DSLR. The DA10 has no optical low pass filter and thus delivers both sharper and better low light image quality than even the D800E. Extremely high resolution images require tack sharp focusing, which is why we've improved the autofocus of the DA10. In addition to the four time tested modes, there's now a new group area AF mode, the same new AF mode that we introduced in the D4S. Group Area AF now uses a cluster of five points to focus and can be used in both AFC as well as AFS. Group Area AF more securely detects your subject while avoiding unintentional focus on the background. This can be extremely useful when targeting unpredictable subjects that are hard to lock onto with only one AF point. The camera isn't just faster when it comes to locking onto focus, but its continuous drive mode can now be fired at 5, 6, or even 7 frames per second with the optional MBD12 battery grip. The new RAW small feature will improve workflow and is a great balance between image quality and reduced file size. At approximately a quarter of the resolution and half the file size of a normal RAW file, this 12-bit uncompressed RAW small maintains the flexibility of RAW while giving a more manageable file size. There is even a new metering mode in the DA10 called Highlight Weighted Metering. Normally, when capturing subjects under the glare of spotlights in a darkened stage, it's often difficult to avoid overblown highlights. But this new mode obtains better exposures by giving priority to the brighter portions of a scene while not being locked on to an AF point such as when using spot metering. The DA10 has truly faithful color reproduction and an advanced white balance system thanks to the new XSpeed 4 image processing engine. This produces the kind of healthy, well-saturated skin tones that studio professionals want. Nikon's new second generation picture control system offers a new parameter called clarity, which can emphasize the crispness in high resolution images or when turned down, give them a softer appearance. You can now adjust the increments in sharpening, contrast, saturation, hue, and clarity to finer increments of 0.25, bringing a totally new level of flexibility to your image making. In part two of our DA10 video, we'll explore the various D-movie options that make the DA10 a versatile cinematic camera. For more information on the DA10, visit Nikon.ca.